in this video, I'm going to show you the new overtime challenges and rewards in Fortnite Battle Royale. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and in this video I'll be showing you guys the new Share the Love event or known as the Valentine's Update that got released today in Fortnite Battle Royale. I have all the leaked challenges, rewards, information and much more. Now real quick, I am providing my subscribers with free V-Bucks. I'm going to give away a bunch of V-Bucks to my subscribers with the release of Season 8. To enter this giveaway, make sure to subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video and also leave a comment down below telling me what console you play on. Anyways, from there, click the link down below in the description to my upcoming livestream, as that's where I will be picking all the winners. Now if you are going to enjoy the video, be sure to give the like down below and let's do another like goal on this video. You guys have been smashing these like goals every single time lately, can we get 7700 and 77 likes on this video. If we can reach that like goal, it would make my day and I hope this video does make your day. Now also, subscribe for more videos like these and by the way, I will be replying to each and every single comment down below in the comment section. And if you've turned on your notifications, be sure to comment hashtag notification squad and I will give your comment a heart, especially for Valentine. If you don't believe me, try it out yourself and your comment will get a heart. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so today, after days and days of delay, the V7.40 update finally dropped in Fortnite. Now, this is a massive update and so it'll take a while to update your console or device, so be prepared for that. Anyways, with a massive update comes a lot of content. First of all, we got the Share the Love event which is giving us new challenges, new weapons and new rewards. From there, we also got the infantry rifle and here on screen right now, you can see some gameplay. The infantry rifle comes in common, uncommon and rare variants. It's a semi-automatic rifle meant to be highly accurate and devastating in the right hands. It can be found from floor loot, chests and vending machines and it uses medium ammo. From there, clingers got unvaulted but grenades got vaulted. We also have a brand new game mode. This LTM is pretty cool as all weapons got removed apart from clingers, grenades and other throwable explosives. On screen you can now see what other LTMs are coming to the game in the next couple of weeks. As regards the leaks, a bunch of new cosmetics are coming to the item shop in the next couple of weeks. Just before season 8 of course. Now in case you didn't know yet, we only have one event left and that being the season 8 lead up event. We're pretty much going to keep on getting earthquakes and we will become more and more severe by the day. The prisoner skin is going to take a major role here. In the files, leaguers have found this loading screen, which shows the prisoner skin in his final fourth stage. And he's going to do something evil with fire, as that's his power. He's pretty much the fire king. Now, there's also this leak that shows what's going to happen to the map of Fortnite very soon. And if you are interested in the Season 8 leaks information and news, then make sure to stay tuned here on the channel. Anyways, big shout out to all the leakers who dove into the game files and found all these leaks for us. So make sure to show them some support. I will leave a link to their Twitter pages down below in the description. Now, as you guys all know, today it is the 14th of February, which means it is Valentine's Day. Last year, Fortnite only gave us a little update, which included the Love Ranger skin and the Cuddle Team Leader skin in the item shop, as well as the Cupid-themed crossbow, which soon after that got vaulted. Now, good news, if you now go over to the item shop, you can get yourself a bunch of new skins. First of all, we got ourselves the Heartbreaker skin which is going to cost you 1200 V-Bucks. This skin also has a matching harvesting tool named the Choco Llama, which is going to cost you 500 V-Bucks. Then we also have the Scully skin, which is also going to cost you 1200 V-Bucks, and the matching harvesting tool named the Scully Splitter is going to cost you 800 V-Bucks. Also, we got another free item, which is the Heart Span Glider. But the cool thing about this glider is that you can only get it when you get it gifted to you, or you can decide to gift it to someone else. So what I did was the following. I gifted it to my friend, and he gifted it to me. This is what it looks like in game. I mean, it's a free glider, so why not get it? And by the way, if you didn't know yet, yes, the gifting system is back and once again, it will be here for only a limited time. It is going to be here until February the 22nd, so one more week. And then we have a couple of daily items which are not new, but which are definitely cool to have, such as both these emotes right here and a couple of skins here and there. Now let's start with the Shady Love event. If you're currently supporting a creator and enter the creator code between February the 8th and the 22nd, you will receive this free Cuddle Hearts Red, 
As you can see on screen, I received it, and I got it for completely free. All you had to do was pretty much fill in and support a greater code in the item shop. This is what it looked like when you receive it. Now, here's what it looks like on your weapons as well as on vehicles. Anyways, this is definitely one of my favorite reps as of right now in the game. It just brings me into the mood of Valentine, and even better, it's completely free. Also, with the release of the Shadow Love event, we got the Cupid's Crossbow back in the game. As you can see, this weapon fires arrows, which are an unlimited ammo type, by the way. It works the exact same as with the Ice Storm event, but now it shoots a Cupid arrow. Now, on screen, you can now see some gameplay of this Valentine's themed weapon in the game. This crossbow can be found from floor loot and treasure chests, and this weapon comes in a rare variant. Everything that came out with this update is in the style of Valentine. Here are a couple of League Sprays. They're of course in the style of Valentine like I said. Now here comes the best part. Today, we also got ourselves the new challenges. These challenges are part of the Shady Love event and they're called the Overtime Challenges. They're ending in 13 days from now, so on the 27th of February. For completing 20 challenges, we're going to be able to unlock a total of 4 free items, a free Season 8 Battle Pass, a bunch of XP as well as 3 different skin styles for the Battle Pass skins and a banner. These 4 rewards are a wrap, a gun trail and two loading screens. The rep looks like this and it's called the Valentine's Rep. The first loading screen looks like this and the second loading screen looks like this. From there, we have a free gun trail and it looks like this and it's called the Von Gun Trail. So, for completing challenges, you can unlock these four items or 500 XP. And once you complete a total of 13 challenges of them, you will get yourself a free Season 8 Battle Pass. This is what they said about that on their website. Everyone who completes 13 free overtime challenges by February the 27th will receive the upcoming Season 8 Battle Pass for free. If you don't have an outfit, now's your chance to get several for free. With the Battle Pass, you will receive 2 Season 8 outfits instantly and you can earn up to 5 more. Save your V-Bucks, this one is on us. Now, that is actually insane. They're giving us the Season 8 Battle Pass for free. A video about that will be uploaded soon on the channel, so make sure to stay tuned for that this weekend. And from there, all the Season 7 Battle Pass owners will also get 3 different skin styles. When you complete 5, 10, and 15 overtime challenges, you will get these styles. And once you complete all of them, you will unlock this banner. So pretty much all the 20 challenges, but who cares about a banner? Now, the challenges also got leaked. A couple of them are already out, and the others are coming very soon. You can now see on the challenges tab how many days it's gonna take for them to get released. Now, the first few challenges are already available in the game, like I said. We will be starting with the guide for the challenges that are now already in the game. And after that, I'm going to show you a guide on the challenges that are coming in the next couple of weeks. Of course, I will not be showing a guide for challenges that are self-explanatory or that are very easy and straightforward. So, if you want to know how to complete all the overtime challenges and unlock all the free rewards, then make sure to stay watching and use this video as a guide when they come out. Okay, so the first challenge is going to be collect coins in feature creative islands. All you have to do is find a total of 15 coins. To get them, go over to creative and start up a couple of these feature game modes. When you come close to one, you can see how many coins it's going to give you. Now, in the move game mode, you have to do an easy parkour, and throughout the parkour, you can get yourself 10 coins. In the decade, the cursed battle royale solos, you can get your last 5 coins, just by finding them. From there, we have the challenge deal damage to opponents with an assault rifle or pistols. You only have to deal a total of 500 damage. Then we have the challenge named search chest or ammo boxes at a motel or an RV park. So, you can search chests or ammo boxes. It doesn't matter, they both count. Now, this is the location of the motel on screen right now. And this is the location of the RV park on screen right now. So, get over there to collect all these 7 chests or ammo boxes. Then we have the challenge in place top 15 in duos with a friend. This one is also straightforward, and you need to place a top 15 a total of 3 times. Moving on, we have the regain health from a campfire in different matches. So, just lit up a campfire, which you can find yourself on the ground, or use a campfire from your inventory. And make sure you do this when you lost health, so you regain health pretty much, as well as do this in 3 different matches. Then we have the challenges, deal damage to opponents with shotguns or SMGs. Outlast 75 opponents in a single match, and place top tennis squads with a friend. But for these, I'm not going to show you a guide as they're self explanatory and straightforward. Now, for the challenge, search chest or ammo boxes at a racetrack or a dance club, you will need to find a total of 7 once again. This is the location of the racetrack on screen, and this is the location of the dance club on screen. 
And of course, we have a third one of these, and it's going to be search chests or ammo boxes at the block. Now, this is the location of the block on screen, and it will change every single week, by the way. But it's not that hard, just search chests and ammo boxes. Then we have the challenge, search a supply drop in different matches. And of course, you need to stay alive for a little bit for them to spawn in. And you will notice when you hear a certain sound effect, and then you know they spawn in. From there, we have the challenge, visit named locations. And these are pretty much all locations that have a name on them on the minimap. And we got the challenge named, revive a friend in different matches. Just play a match of duos and revive each other. Then, there's also a challenge named Reach Battle Pass Tier 47 and a challenge named Play Matches of Drifting with a Friend. Now, this is going to be an LTM that is coming to the game very soon. So, just play that LTM once it comes out with a friend and you should be fine. And the last challenge is going to be Visit Different Waterfalls. And let's go through all the locations real quick. The first one is right over here at Lonely Lodge. The second one is right over here at Lazy Links. The third, fourth and the fifth one are here at Loot Lake as well as the 6th one. Then, the 7th one is right over here at Lucky Landing. And the 8th one is over here at the Viking Village. I'm not sure if this one counts as it's frozen. Now, that is pretty much everything about this event. We got new weapons, new challenges, new rewards, and even special skins. There's one more thing which is really special about this event, and that are going to be the free V-Buck challenges. But I will leave that one for tomorrow's video, so stay tuned here on the channel. This entire week I'll be uploading amazing videos about this update, so definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you are not already. And one last thing, all players are going to receive double XP during this weekend on February the 15th through the 17th as well as on the weekend of the 22nd through the 24th. This will allow you to level up your battle pass before the season ends. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. But with all that being said, always remember... This was Shovel Gamer, and I am signing out.